director of the Muni Bond Market and share what investors need to know about municipal utility districts. We have Greg Pacifico, Managing Vice President and Head of Texas for Build America Mutual, and Vlad Puchek, Assistant Vice President in Build America Mutual's Surveillance Department. Well, great to have you both with us. And Greg, kicking us off, what is a municipal utility district and what does it do? Sure. Thanks, Jenna. Thanks for having me. Uh, municipal utility district, obviously a fairly uh, generic term um, in the municipal world. But when we talk about these utility district, these MUDs, we're referring to a specific type of issuer in the state of Texas. Um, and what these MUDs do, they go out and they issue general obligation bonds payable from property taxes. Uh, and those proceeds are used to reimburse developers for various uh, infrastructure projects. These projects are typically in connection with uh, new residential development. So the infrastructure is things such as water systems and sewer systems, drainage facilities. Um, and what's happening is the developer is fronting the cost of this infrastructure. And then the, the MUD, the Municipal Utility District, is issuing these geo bonds to reimburse the developer for those costs. To quickly follow up on that, Greg, how are MUDs different from other municipal bonds? Thanks, Jenna. Yeah, I'll focus on development deals in the sense of uh, deals that are getting done to finance new infrastructure and new residential development. Um, really, the defining characteristic of a MUD is the TCEQ, the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality. And they've come out and they've put together uh, various rules and regulations behind the MUDs, which essentially controls um, when a developer can get reimbursed and how much they can get reimbursed. And the rules are designed um, to prevent this reimbursement until homes are on the ground and until taxable value has been realized pursuant to the development plan. Um, so essentially what this is doing is keeping the real estate risk with the developer and with the home builders, as opposed to seeing this creep over to an investor or a bondholder, which we do see in other parts of the country where developers are, are either not fronting this cost at all, or the reimbursements are happening so quickly that this real estate risk is ending up uh, with a bondholder. And we've been hearing a lot about these MUDs lately, Greg. Why are they getting the muni market's attention right now? Sure. So the, the growth in Texas is obviously no secret. So there is residential development occurring everywhere you look. And a lot of uh, these developments are getting financed through a MUD structure. Um, so uh, year to date, we've seen $3.6 uh, of PAR um, issued by MUD issuers and, and similar type issuers. Um, and that's year to date in 2021. And what's equally as important is that the average deal size on that 3.6 billion is just $6 million. Uh, so that's almost 600 deals. So while volume is incredibly high, flow is also incredibly uh, consistent with nearly 600 deals coming to market year to date. Um, this is also a sector which is um, relies and utilizes insurance very, very regularly. Of that 3.6 billion, we've seen 76% of that uh, insured. In addition, uh, BAM has insured 1.4 billion of PAR in the mud sector in just this year alone. Wow, and Vlad, I wanna get your perspective as well. How does Build America Mutual approach analyzing these bond issues? Uh, sure, Jenna. So there are thousands of uh, MUDs with each is having uh, unique uh, credit qualities. Uh, and I'd say that our uh, typical analysis is somewhat granular in nature. Uh, our focus is on real time uh, status of the development uh, and the general understanding of the local uh, health of the economic region. Uh, and that's uh, going up from county all the way down to the individual district itself. Uh, we also analyze the size and the diversity of the district's tax base and, of course, its uh, growth over time. We also account for financial strengths, such as uh, liquidity levels and tax rate competitiveness. Uh, and overall, MUD leverage and future debt plans uh, play a part in our analysis as well. Now, we place a significance on the general MUD location as well. Uh, we look at the surrounding developments, uh, make sure that the economic profile uh, will reflect our expectation of the continued growth of the district. And we utilize our drone assets on the ground uh, where we can see the latest progress of the development and the overall quality of the infrastructure that is put in place by, by the developer. 
And finally, I'd say another area where we excel is uh, the approach to understanding the MUD's natural disaster risk. Uh, we're currently partnered with uh, third-party vendors uh, who provide us with tools and model projections for flood and wind damage and where our portfolio might have uh, any natural disaster risk exposure. Uh, and basically this gives us an ability to be proactive in the way we insure uh, and also keep on top of any debt service payments that may be uh, coming due in the disaster affected areas. Finally, before I let you both go, Greg, what else should investors be aware of? Yeah, I'll, I'll touch on two quick, uh, you know, hot topics in uh, municipal finance. The first being pensions. Um, MUDs, they typically do not have any employees and therefore uh, they don't carry the burden of pensions and other post-employment benefits. And, you know, I think we've all learned how burdensome those obligations can be. Um, so with a district having no employees and not carrying those liabilities is, in my opinion, a um, great credit positive. Um, number two uh, would be green bonds. As I mentioned, uh, these MUDs are financing projects for drinking water, uh, sewer systems, and drainage facilities, many of which qualify as green bonds under the ICMA green bond principles. Um, another important note is that these MUDs are extremely focused in their purpose. Um, so green investors don't really need to worry about funds being diverted to non-green projects because Quite frankly, it's just not in the scope of, of what MUDs do. So BAM has started to apply our Green Star uh, as a third party verification of the status on these MUD transactions and, and hope to support uh, green investors coming into this space. Well, Greg, Vlad, great to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Once again, I was joined by Greg Pacifico and Vlad Puchak with Build America Mutual. Hopefully you know a little bit more about MUDs than you did before this conversation. I'm Jenna Dagenhart with Asset TV.